was almost night by the time I got there. It was after 8 o'clock, and, and so it was getting darker, and I was cycling back through the park. And then I heard a woman scream, and the, the woman who screamed, it was, it was just clear that I've not, not heard a person scream like that that wasn't that was any more convincing. And I just jumped, sobbed something in the water, jumped into the water, and started swimming toward it. And I looked up and realized that they were two kids. And uh, they were sort of bobbing very, very low in the water. And I got out to them and grabbed one by the back and, and said, y'all just stay still and don't climb on me. And they did. And I grabbed them and pulled them back. And the smaller one kept saying, God and Jesus, and God and Jesus, and God and Jesus. I was actually out on a bike ride. And one of the things that's probably the most interesting that for people that hear my story is uh, the fact that I don't, I don't normally ride on Trinity Trails. I mean, it was just kind of a fluke deal that I rode. I watched the father, he just went under. And uh, so as soon as I noticed that, I just ran around, started throwing my kid off and uh, jumped in the water. And uh, I grabbed, when I swam out there, they were right in the middle of the river. So I grabbed them. And once I got to the shore, I you know, got the little girl out. She was fine. She never was underwater. So then I go to the mom and I'd flip, you know, so she's still underwater. Her head's completely underwater the whole time. So I flip her up over onto the rocks and um, I just started doing CPR and I, I've never done CPR in my life. I still haven't been trained for CPR and, and uh, I just did the best I could. I just saw it, you know, you see it on TV. So I just did the best I could. So today we're presenting our Citizens Life Saving Award for 2010. These gentlemen are being honored because they risked their own lives to save the lives of others. I've been teaching school in uh, Fort Worth now for more than 12 years, and I've never been to a community where people worked harder and were more dedicated to the, to the people in the community. And so that was, it was really exciting to be a part of that. I wasn't expecting to get anything like this from the Fort Worth uh, Fire Department, but it's always, it's always nice to be recognized for something that happened like this. I mean, I definitely feel like I was uh, very lucky on the day, and uh, I mean, it's just very fortunate that for everything worked out the way it did.